We are chatting with Zach Efron and Melissa McCarthy in a star packed entertainment city this morning. But first, our thoughts are with Morgan Freeman as he mourns the death of his step granddaughter who was fatally stabbed yesterday. This was the scene in Manhattan early Sunday when Adina Hines was found lying in the street in front of her apartment. The 33 year old had multiple stab wounds and was later pronounced dead in hospital. In a statement, Freeman says, quote, the world will never know her artistry and talent and how much she had to offer. Her star will continue to shine bright in our hearts, thoughts, and prayers. May she rest in peace. Hines was Freeman's granddaughter by marriage. Her grandmother was the Academy Award winner's first wife. A man believed to be Hines' boyfriend was taken into police custody and hospitalized for a psychological evaluation. The investigation is ongoing. The stars were shining on the red carpet for the 17th annual Teen Choice Awards in La La Land last night. City's Empire stars are riding home on their surfboards after winning Breakout TV show. Meanwhile, John Stamos, a.k.a. Uncle Jesse, made his first post-rehab TV appearance and got ribbed by his grandfathered co-star Josh Peck. Peck was one of the night's co-hosts alongside Show Me's Jane the Virgin star Gina Rodriguez and Ludacris. And Britney Spears sporting a colorful new do was honored with a Style Icon Award. Speaking of style, Melissa McCarthy's highly anticipated seven clothing line is finally almost here. City Line's Tracy Moore chatted with the actress about entering the fashion game. What is it about fashion that you love? In part the same reason I love acting. It's like, I think it's like every day you get to be a different character. Yep, it's also another reason we just can't wait for the all-female reboot of Ghostbusters. And I wear a bunch of the clothes in Ghostbusters. I was going to ask you that. Yeah, this okay. one actually busts ghosts because I'm the guinea pig. I wear everything. I'm very picky. It's got to pass your test. It does. It has my name on it. McCarthy's clothing line will be available at Pennington starting September 1st. Plus, watch for Tracy's full interview with the funny lady coming up soon on City Line. Rihanna is making it very clear that there is nothing going on between her and athlete Matt Barnes. After the NBA player told TMZ Sports the pair were, quote, just past the crush stage, Riri put him on blast for all of her Instagram followers to see. Posting a screenshot of Barnes, she wrote these hashtags. The devil is a liar. She's not into you at all. She's never even met you. And defamation of character. Hmm, point taken. What's she trying to say? Zach Efron plays an aspiring DJ, and we are your friends, and our Terry Hart caught up with the star to chat about following your dreams, and of course, hey, watch. It's the DJ's job to get the crowd out of their heads and into their bodies. Really at the heart of We Are Your Friends, I think, is about finding your passion. What was your moment of, aha, I found it, I know what my passion is? There was this moment when I was, I was like 12 or 13. There was this audition for a really small part in a, in a play. I was terrified to get up in front of people. I remember I couldn't walk into the room without shaking. And uh, as soon as I walked through that fear, um, and sort of embraced it, that's when I kind of found what I really love to do, which was actually be in front of people and entertain. I think it's those moments when you're afraid of something. If you can walk through that fear, you emerge on the other side a lot stronger. We were good out there. We really know how to work a crowd. I have to ask Zach about Baywatch. Have you started looking for the iconic red shorts? <laughs> no, um, we're, we're, still, we're still just in talks about it right now, but um, I'm very excited. You did tweet baby oil for two? Well, The Rock said he needed some baby oil, so I was like, get it for two. But the he's rock. actually, he would need it for two because he's just so big. Yes, yeah, so maybe I should ask for three. <laughs> three, yeah. yeah. We are your friends. Hits theaters next Friday when we hear more from Terry's chat with the cast. And remember to tune in right here for all your entertainment news first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.